Hi there. I'm currently working on a game which has quite a few levels. I wanted to add a scroll to top button which scrolls to the last available unlocked level. I didn't want this button to be visible at all times, only when the last level isn't visible on the screen anymore. I'm going to show you the simplest way to implement this functionality and incorporate this into your app. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this with a list and scroll view both. A list is simpler, so I'm going to start with that. Let's add a list. I will write a function which creates the list item. I am just going to add a text that says it's item number X. The function can have integer as a parameter. Now let's call this function to show our list item. And I'm going to add up to 10 items in the list each with a different number. Let's see what this looks like. We've got a list, but we want the list to scroll beyond the visible screen. We can just increase the padding to 50 to achieve that. Next, we need to add the scroll to top button. This button needs to sit on top of the list so I can encapsulate this list in a Z stack. And then add the button in the stack. Let's give it an appropriate image. Uh, some padding. And some semi-transparent background. And let's make the, make the foreground white, which can be seen better. Now we need to add the most important view, which is a scroll view reader. The scroll view reader provides us with a scroll view proxy, which can be used to scroll to any item. So now if we want to use this button to scroll to top, we can call the scroll to method on this proxy. At the moment, our list items don't have any ID, so we need to add that. This step is really important. I'm going to use this parameter number to set the ID. Obviously, it needs to be unique for every item. If I wanted to scroll to the first item, I can provide the ID of the first item here, which is one. I will align this button to the bottom left with some padding. You can use any other ID here to scroll to a particular item. For example, if I wanted this to be a scroll to bottom button, you can provide the last ID here and change the image to show that it scrolls to bottom. As you can see, it's scrolling to bottom now. Now we can go one step further and hide this button when the top item is already visible. There are various ways of doing this. What I did was I created an array of all visible items to check if the available levels are visible or not. In fact, I'll turn this into a set to avoid duplicates. And then we can use the onAppear method to add any visible items to this set. When the item disappears, we will remove it from the set.
Now we will just check whether we need to show this button or not. Let's use a constant to hold the ID of the item we want to scroll to. And then check if it's in the set of visible items. If it's not, then we will show the scroll to top button. Here we go, we have a scroll to top button that only appears when we scroll down. We can add some animation to make sure that it doesn't jump up and instead it scrolls up nicely. We can do the same thing with a scroll view and a stack instead of a list. The only difference is that a regular vStack loads all of the items, so our onDisappear method won't work. If you run this code, you'll find that onAppear method is called for all items, whether they're currently visible or not. And onDisappear is never called. What we want here is a lazy vStack which will call the onAppear and onDisappear methods, just as the list did. For some reason, it doesn't work in the canvas, so I'm going to run the app in a simulator so you can see that it works just as well. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you would like to request a tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next video.